Mindy, don't you, oh my gosh. What up? Good morning. We are coming to you on a two-parter today. It's going to be like one vlog, but two days into one because we got to show you what goes into the Thanksgiving dinner process. Heavy dose of craziness, chaos. There's messes. There's food everywhere. There's open cabinets. There's pans, pots, plates, all kinds of stuff all over the place. So that is the storm before the calm. Is that how it goes? Mom is getting some stuff prepped, some meals made, some different things going here. I am about to go ahead off and get a bucket to brine the turkey. Smash the like button if you knew that existed because I didn't, but I have a feeling that'll get us a lot of likes because I bet everybody knew that except for me. I did not know that. This, like, is it like marinating? Like what is brining a turkey? I actually don't know. I just know I bought a brine mix. Brine mix. We're gonna take some brine mix. We're gonna brine this turkey. I gotta get a bucket for that because you brine a turkey in a bucket apparently. Then I'm smoking the first turkey of my life tomorrow for Thanksgiving dinner, which will be included in this vlog. So make sure you stay tuned and see that. I wanted to mention very quickly, I just finished uploading today's vlog, which was crew and I heading to Walmart and buying whatever he could guess the price of and also our Hawaii the movie video. If you don't know what's going on there, you're like, wait a minute, this happened earlier this year. We were thinking it would be a fantastic idea for some of our Sunday bonus uploads to take all of our vacation vlogs from an entire vacation, combine them into one epic full length feature film movie and release it for you guys. So let us know what you think of that. Smash the like button, head on over if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you were thinking like, wait a minute, they're in Hawaii. And you're a little bit confused. That is the explanation for that. Depending on how that is received, we may do that with others like the cruise and some of the other vacations that we've done because we thought it was really cool and just kind of a fun thing to sit down and just binge watch the entire trip from start to finish in one video. So that's what's going on there. Hawaii the movie now up on YouTube. Check it out. I'm going to take my rag guy with me. He's here chilling. Chilling. Like a balls and he's gonna go with the brine bucket with me so that way you guys can be brine bucket buddies <laughs> yeah when he grows up they'll know what a brine bucket is <laughs> wait that's too quick what does that sound seriously the dishes are that's the sound it makes when the dishwasher's done. That's fantastic. But guys, I walked in the house with a brining bucket. Check it out. It is a very special custom bucket. Actually, just a white plastic bucket. And Ooh, you came into the smell, smell of banana, banana bread. bread. I need some lunch, so I'm hungry. So guys, I'm reading on the back of this brine here. This has actually been a lot of fun trying to figure this out. Basically, I mix this entire jar with two quarts of water, fill it in the brine bucket, put the turkey in there fully thawed, and then continue to fill with water until the turkey is fully submerged. Then you place the lid on it, you set it in a refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. Thank goodness we have an extra refrigerator. And you guys, that's before you even start cooking it. This is just to brine it. I like saying brine. We came over to our handy dandy chart over here because we don't know much about conversions, like and things like that. So we're looking up what two quarts equals so we can find a picture in our house to equal two quarts because I don't know any of that stuff. Mom, what are you Googling over here? What does brining do? I don't even know. It's, I think it's marinating, but it's like for a full size turkey. I think it's a turkey word for marinate. That's actually the definition. I just found it. Okay, good guys. I Google it. It's underneath. Brine is turkey word for marinate. Look it up. It's an turkey adjective word. to describe. What's the word? Verb. It's a verb. I don't even know. Two brine. I two quarts of water on this. Mom just rinsed it out. Let's brine. Two quarts! Oh it doesn't look very appealing or appetizing, but it smells oh. like a forest. It looks really gross, but it, it smells, smells like a like potpourri a forest. forest. Yeah. Like a good no, smelling it forest. It like a ton of really amazing herbs. Yeah. Well, there's herbs in the forest. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna brine this bad boy for 24 hours and then tomorrow we smoke it. Tell me you got that because I could not get it. I don't think I got it, but you guys, Brandon's been fidgeting with this Do lid it. for like an hour. He's like, I think I got the wrong lid. It's broken. Something's wrong. An hour. One hour later. Okay, well, at least it lasts like 20 seconds. Whatever. <sighs> We're gonna put him in the garage. We'll let him sit in this for 24 hours brining. There's so much that goes into turkey thawing. Mom took this out five days ago, is that right? Sitting in a cooler in like a certain temperature of water. So much work goes into turkey. All you out there making Thanksgiving turkeys this year, mad respect. Brandon's always said, I don't really like turkey. I don't? I take it for granted every time. Have appreciation for the bird, Brandon. Yeah, this time, next time I go to Thanksgiving and someone else has prepared the turkey, I'm just gonna be like, thank you for all of your hard work with the brining, the bucket, the thawing. You're brining bucket buddies now. Yeah, we are BBBs. Bros. The next morning. What up, good morning, it is now the next Day. Here we are. Look at this setup. Mom would never toot her own horn, so I'm gonna do it for her before she gets home. She was up until one o'clock in the morning getting all of this set up, the whole island ready to have food placed in it. Everything's got its own little sticky note to tell you where it goes. She cut up all this bread for some homemade stuffing. She was getting all these things ready. All these rolls are going. We got the turkey brining. I'm gonna get ready to smoke it here in a little bit. We're headed off to church this morning. Mom did that until one in the morning. Then she was off to meetings for church this morning. The meeting started at seven. Basically, she is a rock star. She's a legend. She's got this whole thing set up. We've got extra tables and chairs thanks to the Rebellies. We've got an extra 
extra little table for kids that we're gonna pull in here. The whole thing coming together perfectly, magically. So much prep, so much work goes into this. So much respect for all of you out there hosting Thanksgiving dinners this Thanksgiving, having people over to your home. If you're going to someone's place or if it's your parents that are putting it on, if you're going to a relative, a grandma, grandpa, make sure you thank them because probably my entire life I just took for granted how much went into making this happen. But it's a great time to get family together, to be thankful, to be grateful, and to enjoy some yummy food. Getting ready to smoke this turkey now. You guys know, I've been joking about it, but in all seriousness, very nervous about this. Talk to a buddy of mine at church who actually has given me like 100% phenomenal Traeger tips. Everything he's ever told me how to smoke has turned out to perfection. I asked him, I said, dude, doing a turkey today, what are your recommendations? How should I do it? What's the process? Because I've been following the recipes, like the cooking methods inside the Traeger app, and I find that oftentimes it just doesn't work out like I expect it to, a lot drier than I want. I said, I just don't trust it, and I've got family coming over. So he said, let me tell you the first thing. First of all, turkeys are very tricky. <laughs> There's a good chance it won't turn out, but don't beat yourself up over it. Second of all, here's what I would do. He gave me his method, I'm trying that out right now. It's gonna take a little bit longer than what I had expected, and I just found out that Mindy's family is coming over two hours earlier than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was at four, it's at two. Kind of in a sped up mode here, trying to get this thing done. Preheating the Traeger, got the turkey in its brine, take it out there, put it in a pan, get it smoking, and to set two separate internal temperatures, one on the breast and one on the thigh. So I've got my meat with thermometer ready to go, hooked up to my app, fully geeked out on this one. After having talked to him, it took a little bit of the pressure off because I realized it's not a super easy one. So if I fail on it on my first time, not a big deal. And we do have the backup turkey coming. I made the joke with one of my friends that I'm 95% sure this is going to be an epic fail, but I'm not super worried because my in-laws are bringing a turkey because they're 100% sure it's gonna be a fail. <laughs> but let's see. Turkey's on, temperatures are set, the presets are ready in the two critical locations. I feel like my nose is red, it is freezing cold, I can see my breath. Woke up to ice on the roofs this morning, it's supposed to snow all week. It's definitely time for Thanksgiving and then moving into Christmas, we're super stoked about that. Fingers crossed on this turkey, you guys. Like I said, pressure's off a little bit because we got a backup turkey coming. But I do love trying new things, I love trying to smoke things on the Traeger. Gonna have to check on it here in about two hours, up the temperature a little bit, and then finish it off, hopefully in time for people to get here. Mom has joined me, she is now home from church, preparing the rest of this Thanksgiving feast. Mom, where yet? Okay, so. I I am so glad last night I looked at the recipe for my stuffing. You guys, this is Lindsay's recipe and it's absolutely amazing. But I'm glad I looked because you have to cook it for 40 minutes and then <gasps> uncover it and cook it for another 40 minutes. I would have like looked at it like 30 Thinking minutes before and- I was just telling them that on the turkey- We would have been serving this. Which well, I'm We are serving turkey. that, we're doing both. I almost just really stabbed likes. you with a fork. I'm setting the table over here, which by the way, Mindy had to tell me how to do. Fork on the left. Which I had to look up how to do. Knife and spoon on the right. I know that sometimes you do so multiple I'm sure forks. I'm not right. It feels like I reached for a fork on my right, but I must be wrong. Ha <laughs> ha, right wrong. wrong. I'm I'm never right, I'm always left <laughs> out. <laughs> Wrong. I need a Dr. Pepper, let's just say that. Ah! Mindy, don't you, oh my gosh, you're so lame. <laughs> Sage, thyme, rosemary, parsley. That's where all the flavor comes in. You know guys, one thing they say you can never have too much of though is thyme, so. <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> so now it's already now, I just need to put it in the oven. Wait, you forgot the key ingredient. Marshmallows? Oh, that's not for this? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh my gosh. A lot of stuff is underway. I made my frog eye salad yesterday. I just put the stuffing in. The rolls are rising. I think I have to make a charcuterie board and the drink. But the coolest part about all of this is all of the recipes that I'm making today, with the exception of the stuffing, are on our blog. This is HowieBingham.com. So my favorite drink recipe, the rolls, there's no special recipe. Those are just Rhodes rolls. And we put two of them together. Do you want me to show you? I put two of them together in a pan. This is what we call our butt rolls. And it's really inappropriate, but that's what we call it. <laughs> the frog eye salad recipe is on the blog. I'm making a jello salad, but I'm literally just doing jello and whipped cream. I feel like everything's coming together. That's another great thing about us doing this Thanksgiving dinner a week early is you've got an opportunity. If you guys want to, you can go to the blog, get the recipes and make them for your Thanksgiving dinner coming up next week. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Mom's pulling it off in a major way. It's a full family affair. We have her parents bringing ham, the backup turkey, green beans. My brother is bringing, Brother's green he beans. has mastered the green bean casserole. So that's something he brings every year. And my brother and my mom is bringing pies. I'm not in charge of dessert or the ham. Everybody pitching in, everybody bringing something today. It's coming together, you guys, in a major way. Finishing touches being put on. People will arrive and we will feast.
One of the things I love making is a charcuterie board. It's something we've just absolutely loved lately. You can check out on our blog how to make one, tips and tricks of doing a hard, a soft, semi-soft cheese, all the different- And stinky. And stinky, we've got him though. Wait, dang, I'm opening the stinky cheese right now. I'm about to make my biggest charcuterie board ever. I think I mentioned this earlier this morning, but mom does a great job of pre-setting up where everything's gonna go and then putting a post-it note in its location. And that is one, to make sure you have room for everything, but then two, to make sure you didn't forget anything, right? Is that why you do it? Yes, just wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything. It's coming together, rolls are coming in, we're gonna start filling food onto this. Turkey look like it's doing okay. Might be a little behind schedule, we'll see. But it's okay, we have the good one coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wish you guys could smell this. Okay, first of all, everyone showed up a little bit earlier than anticipated. So we hey kind guys, of just got- welcome to Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> we got thrown right into it. So turkey came off, food got all prepped, we had everything set out, and then boom, people were eating. It I think fast. it went fantastically though. It was awesome. Food was amazing, we way overdid it. it had way too many, sent oh everybody home with piles of leftovers. So and everybody I got lunch for a month. Of leftovers. Another turkey was a big source of nervousness. Mindy, how did uh, it turn it out? It was incredible. I, it, I don't want to like toot my own horn. It was so good, it you guys. Was it was so good. It was so good. I was so surprised. We should I put was this, shocked. Do you have a good picture? of the turkey because we should put that right I could probably pull a screen grab from the video. It was that good. I don't think I even videoed pulling the turkey off though because everyone was already here and I was waiting for the temperature to reach and so then I just hurry and pulled it off and threw it up here. I was in here busy so I didn't video it for you either. It just so. got chaotic once dinner started you guys so we apologize we didn't get to vlog or video as much of that as we wanted to. Needless to say it went phenomenally. It was really good. All the food was good. My parents also brought a delicious turkey. They brought yummy pie. The ham was awesome. It was all just so good. It turned out great guys. It was a ton of fun, ton of food, great Thanksgiving and now that's our official family Thanksgiving that we had. We're doing something a little different, super fun for the actual Thanksgiving coming up. Do not miss that on Thursday. It's, gonna be cool. it's actually the whole weekend teaser. Starts uh, on Wednesday. Gonna be unreal. So don't miss that. But that is the traditional Thanksgiving. So we are mentally somewhat moving a little bit towards Christmas, right? Are we kind of? No? 100%? No. The Kay. Christmas lights are on outside. <laughs> don't tell them that yet. <laughs> So yes, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed being a part of that. So much love and respect for the people who put on Thanksgiving dinners. I said this earlier in the vlog. If you're going to Thanksgiving dinner that someone else is hosting, make sure you tell them thank Say you. a million thank yous. Gratitude and love. Speaking of moving into the holidays, this week jam-packed with some entry-level holiday stuff, you guys. Some getting in the spirit, getting in the mood type things. Make sure you stick around for that. And then again, of course, coming up this epic weekend is going to be unreal. It's going to be awesome. But you guys, make sure to come back. Make sure to also subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up for Thanksgiving and just for being grateful and having gratitude for all of those around us. And you guys, a lot of love so far on the Hawaii movie. I feel like that's going So it well. seems like you guys are enjoying it. We might be doing that with like the cruise, maybe some Disney ones, something like that as a Sunday bonus video, these full length movies. It's kind of fun to put them all together into one thing. And so far it's been very well received. So thank you guys for that. We love you so much. We love you guys and come back tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.